the quiz. We thank God that we've been able to uh, complete it. So uh, we will now do the proclamation. So uh, the proclamation is uh, done every week. And uh, we also, uh, you know, there are so many verses, so we didn't do what we have been doing. But anytime we read scriptural verses, we're supposed to be standing to hear what the Word of God is telling us. So, uh, but uh, we'll be standing up, sitting up, sitting and standing so many times. But in this case, uh, we are ready. So, to do the verse for today or the verses for today, again, it is a declaration because the Word of God is supposed to encourage us every time. Why should we encourage ourselves? Because uh, Satan, in his efforts to deceive Christians, to confuse Christians, and also to make Christians uh, uh, not enjoy the blessings of God, makes us forget sometimes and also causes us to uh, think on other things, to dwell on things that will uh, cause us to be gloomy and sad and disappointed. But when we have the Word of God uh, at our fingertips, uh, we can always use it and uh, proclaim it and also uh, disgrace uh, Satan when he tries to uh, cause us uh, unbelief and those things. So we need to be able to reject it. We are commanded uh, to resist the devil. And when we resist him, he will run, he will fly, he will, he will be gone. And so every day we can use this proclamation and we proclaim it. We personalize the proclamation so that it will reflect what we are saying. Because sometimes it is something we have to say, personalize uh, the proclamation. And uh, if it is us, we can also use prayer. You can, you know, but most of the time it is I, I, I believe, you know, we know what the Apostle Paul said, I have been crucified with Christ. If he said that and, and we can repeat that, then we can also repeat what the uh, great uh, king David also said, the Lord is my shepherd. So he's using, he's personalizing it so that it is not somebody, the Lord is not somebody, he's, he's my shepherd. If the Lord is my shepherd, then I can do all things. And so we also need to use God's word uh, to proclaim life to us. And then, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's wonderful to do that. So again, let us proclaim Philippians 3, 20 to 21, which says, For our citizenship is in heaven, from which we also eagerly wait for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lowly body, that it may be conformed to his glorious body, according to the working by which he is able even to subdue all things to himself. Amen. Philippians 3, 20 to 21, we may be seated.